Good morning and welcome to Flyer Nation, your number one news source for Lewis Athletics. I'm Emily Mashak and I'll be sitting down today with head softball coach Becky Pearl to hear more about the 2016 softball season. Pearl had been the head softball coach at Judson University since 2004 before becoming head softball coach of the Flyers two years ago. The team is currently 16 to 26 and won last night's game against the UW Parkside Rangers with a score of 13 to 4. We'll have more on the team after the break. Welcome back to Flyer Nation. We're here with head softball coach Becky Pearl to hear about her experiences coaching the 2016 softball season. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Of course. And so this is your second year as head coach here at Lewis. What has been the easiest about the transition from the NAIA and what has been the most difficult? I would say the easiest thing is definitely, you know, Lewis is an inviting community and so um, just being welcomed in by the team and by my staff and um, the administration has been fantastic. On top of that, it's still softball, so you know yeah. that's a nice um, common theme that you come in and, and still get to play the game you love and coach the game you love. And I would say the toughest um, thing has definitely been the roles. NAIA yeah. doesn't have any, and so to come to NCAA and have those roles, you know, every day it's like, okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Yeah, I'm sure that's definitely kind of a hard thing to adjust to. And Speaking of things that we need to adjust to, the team has been struggling as of late. So what do you think has caused the struggle and how are you going to go about fixing it? To be honest with you, we are a young team. And so every day we're just trying to go out there and really improve um, and have, you know, take one step forward each day. And so it's really been kind of that has been our focus. Um, after every game we talk about our improvements, um, the things that we need to continue to do better, the things that we've done well and really just trying to respect the process as a young team has kind of been our goal and so that's what we've been doing. Yeah, definitely and I'm sure that will pay off and have a great rest of the season. While pitching is at a premium in softball and the Flyers feature two freshman starters, how much of their growth is based upon the learning experience about the difference between high school pitching and college pitching? Um, it's huge, honestly. It's uh, every day we work on that as the pitching staff is um, our older pitchers are, we have a senior and a junior in Allie Brems and Lainey Schweiker, and so um, working with them to kind of guide the, the freshmen, um, just talking with Dara and Paige about um, this isn't high school anymore and, and you're not going to just blow it by them, so we've got to work on the finesse and the location. Um, they joke every day that I think I say location, 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 it's all about that. And so um, just working with them and, and getting them to buy into that process and then letting them um, hopefully see those results pay off. Yeah, I think it definitely is a big transition from high school to college even for me, so I can't imagine what it's like in the sports arena. But So for the Great Lakes Valley Conference featuring two of the best pitchers in the country, in Missouri St. Louis is Hannah Perryman and in Indianapolis is Morgan Foley. What is it like to compete against pitchers like that and does it get you excited? Oh, I love it. I mean, I wish I was out there for sure, but <laughs> Um, since it's too late for that, you know, just the art of the game is such a, a beautiful thing. And so to just be able to get your teams ready and motivate them and, and encourage them to not be intimidated by even those kind of pitchers is an exciting process. And like I said, that's what we're working on this year is growth as a team and learning to play together and um, respecting the process because we know that if we do, um, we'll see great results. Yeah, well, it's definitely paid off, and you can see the growth as a team because offensively the team is batting uh, 300 when the team batted 270 last season. What was the reason behind the offensive jump? You know, I think just continued work as a team. Um, we, we do drills, we work live, we do as much as we can to stimulate the, simulate the game um, feel, and so just really working on them and really trying to pump them full of energy and excitement and confidence. Um, you know, we talk about having a little bit of swagger out there and not being afraid to show that. And so, um, you know, you work on that defensively, you work on that offensively, you work on that on the pitching mound. Um, all avenues have to lead to um, success. And so in order to get success, you've got to kind of encourage them and, and pump them full of um, pride and, and um, courage. Definitely. Well, it looks like that has all been paying off. And thank you so much for joining us today, Coach. And good luck with the rest of the season. And when we come back, we'll be speaking with players Carly Jaworski and Kaylee Prieto to learn more about what it's like to be on the team. Welcome back to Flyer Nation. Before the break, we talked to Coach Pearl about her experience as head coach of the team. Now I'm here with junior shortstop Carly Jaworski and sophomore outfielder 
Kaylee Prieto, to talk about what it's like to play softball as a flyer. You've both been on the team for a few years. What do you like most about playing for Lewis? Um, I really like the team atmosphere that we have. It's more like a family. We all really get along and work well together. Yes, I definitely have to say the family atmosphere is one of the best um, things to look forward to when it comes to playing for Lewis softball and not only playing for uh, Becky Pearl. She's one of the most hearted individuals that I've ever been playing with and she's a great coach and I love just having her as um, a role model to look forward to. You celebrate senior day on Saturday. What has the senior class meant to you during your time on the team? Um, the senior class, well, their family, they're like big sisters to me. Um, I'm only a sophomore, but right when I came in as a freshman, they were right there for me and accepted me right away. Um, they're like the first people to text me when I'm down or to tell me something I did wrong that they saw and try to help me in the game. Definitely the senior class is, just like Kaylee said, is the most uh, caring class for me because I came in as a freshman and they were the ones to help me get along through the way and just someone to look up to and help me along the way as well. How do you help the freshmen adjust to the collegiate softball game? Um, well, freshman year was just last year for me, so I know personally it helped to know that I was accepted to this team, that people respected me and that they trusted in my ability. So I just try to make them feel accepted and to help them and tell them like freshman year is a tough adjustment and you're going to get through it, you're going to be okay. Definitely freshman year is not one of the best years, but helping them to adjust is our key priority and whether that's on the field or off the field, on the field. I try to help them to adjust the game, just to the game of the speed of the game because high school ball is a lot slower than college ball and making sure that they know the knowledge of the game. Every team is bound to face struggles throughout a season. How do you work through these struggles as a team? Um, you kind of have to take these struggles and reflect on them, try to make yourself better through the struggle, try to adjust to what went wrong and try to stay on the positive side and like have your own teammates there to help you and tell you, hey, like you'll get next time, you'll be okay. Picking each other up is main point in the adjusting part to the game, but also to come together and working as a team and making those adjustments, whether it's on the field or at practice and working harder and harder the next pitch and winning the game. As we mentioned earlier, the team's batting average has improved from last season. Why do you think that is, and how have you worked to personally improve as a player? Um, I think our batting average has improved because we've had, well, the freshmen have come, they've stepped it up a little, and I mean, we're all working every day to get better. I personally, um, I came in as a slapper, and I'm now the third hitter, so I had to make a big adjustment and become a power hitter. So I just worked hard and worked on my timing, um, and seeing live pitching really helps. Uh, live pitching is the key. Um, we practiced more in the cages and hitting, and I think that was one of our key priorities to having the, one of the best averages on the, in the conference, but um, just mainly working on those key points. Thank you both for being here today. It was great to get an in-depth look at the, how the season's going. Join us next week for another episode of Flyer Nation. Mm -hmm.